Welcome back to Arthritis Now. Today's interview will be with Dr. Nigrovic, assistant professor at Harvard University who's studying autoimmune arthritis. Dr. Nigrovic recently joined the ANRF Scientific Advisory Board, so we'd like to welcome him and thank him for giving back to the world of autoimmune and arthritis research. Hi, Dr. Nigrovic. Thank you very much for being here with us today. We really appreciate your time. My pleasure. And so, where did you do your um, where did you do your training to be a scientist? So, uh, I went to medical school here at Harvard Medical School and did my residency at the Mass General Hospital and at Boston Children's Hospital. Um, I then did fellowship training in rheumatology at, at Brigham and Women's Hospital and at Boston Children's to certify in both adult and pediatric rheumatology. And then uh, I, I joined a lab here, uh, the lab of Dr. David Lee, uh, when I was in my fellowship. And that's where I started my science. Is the main focus of your research juvenile arthritis? So my research is arthritis biology generally. We work both in adults and children. I have uh, biorepositories at Boston Children's and at the Brigham Women's Hospital, so adult samples. And so we have the benefit of the perspective across the lifespan. And when I was doing a little bit of research about the work that ANR funded you for, um, a lot of it was had to do with, or the main focus of it was on neutrophils. And at any point, tell me if I misspeak, but <laughs> um, neutrophils, um, what I from what I understand, are immune cells that migrate into the joint cavity um, during inflammatory arthritis. Is that correct? That's exactly right, yeah. Okay. okay. And so... Um, so are neutrophils, is it necessary to have them in your joints for arthritis to develop then? So that's what we think. So essentially every inflamed joint has neutrophils in it. They're, they're the most abundant cell in the fluid that accumulates in an inflamed joint. And uh, evidence from mice where we can uh, knock them out so you can get rid of them in different experimental ways shows that without neutrophils, arthritis just can't happen. The subject of our research uh, uh, that's funded by the ANRF arose from an incidental observation that we made that when we, when we uh, targeted a certain molecule on the surface of mouse neutrophils, we could stop arthritis from happening, and yet otherwise the animals seemed quite well. And so this is a very appealing idea that if you can block neutrophils without otherwise dampening immunity, then... Uh, you may have a new therapeutic target. Um, it's the same um, project that you're working on that was a by, by ANRF initially. Now it's just funded by the NIH. And what it also funded was the exploration of, of how this phenomenon, which we started to observe in mice, how it also crosses the spectrum into humans. So the, what we care, the reason we do this research is we care about people. And we've now taken this mouse mechanism, and I think we've jumped the gap from mouse to humans, and we're looking... Uh, a major focus of our work is looking at an analogous mechanism that happens in humans that might potentially be targetable. And so, and so the, basically, the trick is trying to find out how to keep these neutrophils from developing, right? Well, to keep them from getting into the tissues. So okay. we like to ideally preserve their ability to get to places where there's infection because neutrophils are an important part of immune defense. If you don't have them, you tend to get bacterial infections like pneumonias, skin infections very quickly. Okay. Uh, but we'd like to keep them in place, away from places where there's uh, sterile inflammation, so no infection, like in inflamed joints. And I think I read that you found um, a specific protein in one of your mouse models that had a big impact on your research. Is that true, or can you tell me about that a little bit? Uh, the protein that we found was a, a, the obscure protein called Ly6G. Uh, it's a very small molecule located on the surface of mouse neutrophils, but not human neutrophils. Oh, and okay. it is it is a uh, it has been used for many years to identify neutrophils. It's one of the handles that people notice, people look for to say that's a neutrophil and not say a monocyte or a lymphocyte. Uh, but its function had never been determined. We were able to identify with the help of ANRF funding that this protein interacts with the kind of a set of cells, a set of molecules on the surface called integrins, which are uh, a kind of Velcro by which cells grab onto the lining, inside lining of blood vessels and move through the tissues. So we found that that is, uh, that this 
molecule of Li6G interacts with integrins to, we now think, help them function better. Uh, and if you target it with an antibody, that pulls it away, we think, from these integrins. And that stops the, that stops the neutrophils from being able to migrate efficiently into, into tissues. Where do you hope to see your research go in the next couple of years? Well, we, we're broadening our research focus on the neutrophil to try to understand uh, what neutrophils are there in human joints as well as in, as well as in mouse joints. There's an analogous molecule to Li6G that we think has similar functions on the surface of human neutrophils. Uh, and we're chasing that down to see which neutrophils express it and what it does for those cells. Thanks for watching part one of our interview with Dr. Nigrovic. Make sure to stay tuned in two weeks for part two. Meanwhile, subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to check out everything on curearthritis.org for the latest news on the foundation.